A perfect summer evening in Winnipeg as IG Field is ready for a battle of the only two unbeaten teams remaining in the CFL. The Bombers 5-0 on the season after dismantling the Lions in Vancouver last Saturday. Calgary gets the next shot at the defending champs. 4-0 on the year. Great battle of quarterbacks. 288 yards, three touchdowns last week. Starts here on his own 30. And he's got a completion early back to Dalton Scully. Polaris now with some time over the middle. He's got another completion, this one to Ellingson. And Just inside 50, left hash, a deep one to start this game. And he sneaks it oh, inside yeah. the right upright. That's what you're looking for. Gray standing on his own 42. They'll let it go from 46. <laughs> a towering kick into the arms of Grant. Right back up the middle, short return, ball pops loose and Calgary's on it. Grant had it slip away, and the Stampeders on a turnover are able to scoop it up. Looks like it's Stewart who's there. Knocked it away and scooped it up. Bo Levi Mitchell on the Winnipeg 19 to Get the end zone. There. Almost immediately Bagleton. Slips up, goes down, but he's in. Touchdown, Calgary, a quick strike. And for Reggie Bagleton, his second touchdown of the season. Off. Second and five. Polaros Rhodes has got him again, and this time he's going to finish him off. He loves that. That was a heck of a play. He would not be denied, would he? Mitchell looks to his left. Now he's in trouble. He's panicking. He's going to be taken down, but there's a flag. As Mitchell goes down to the turf, Jake Thomas and Casey Sales. Both tackles coming right up the middle. Yeah, flip field position here. Better kick this time from Grace. Grant will take it at his own 42. Back to the 50, stays on uh -oh. his feet, still going. Janarian Grant trying to escape. They're holding on for dear life, and he'll eventually be taken down. Right, Arkansas State. Love the weight room. Big kick. Good field position for Winnipeg. Has not put up the numbers that those two guys have so far this year. Polaris here again. And that one is complete. Second and goal from the Calgary 10 for Aiton Blue. Augustine stays in there to block. Polaris flushed out of the pocket. On the run to the right. Oh! Had shown, but it's batted away. It's at Mohammed again. Looked like Shown was going to have his fourth touchdown of the season. But Mohammed breaks it up. And I'd like to look at that one again because I think that Ellie could have run and pushed him off a little bit more. Yeah. Four receivers to the left for Mitchell. Looks to the right, throws to the right, has a man, and that's complete. It's Henry inside the 40 before he's forced out of bounds. Perez with a deep shot, and it's good. That's his longest of the season for Kolaris. Pressure coming, looks over the middle, and he's got a completion at the 50, and he'll stay on his feet. It's Agaducci again. <laughs> and he'll eventually be tracked down right in midfield. And boy, they are getting Agaducci involved here. Right. Everybody loves him, too. Kolaros near side. Ellingson goes up. Did he get yeah. his foot in? Yeah, I think he did. he did. What a play by Greg Ellingson as he holds it in. Direct line with Buck Pierce up in the box, telling him good stuff. Kolaros. One-on-one, -on -one looking for Agadosi, and the touchdown, and he goes up and gets it, get out of here! How's that for your first career touchdown? Carlton, Agadosi! Yeah, why not? Six foot six, take advantage of it. Just give him a chance, Zach. No chance for... Big body! A big body, not to come down with that. Kick the field goal. Time ticks down in the opening half. They're going to give it to Carey. What? Carey's going to kick it back on the left side. What? Still going, but the clock ticks down. There's one second left. 39-yarder for Paredes. Ooh, boy, that was tight, but he got it. <laughs> and we are deadlocked at 13. The work on the 29 now. Mitchell looking to his left. Now he's going to throw down the field. Bengals, and he's got it. Takes it inside the 40 before he's tracked down from behind. Biggest play of the game. Shaping up for Reggie Bagleton. First and 10 on the Winnipeg. 36. Kadeem Carey's got a big one here. Stays on his feet. Eventually taken down inside the 10. And that's the biggest carry of the night. Back to back. You don't execute. It just drives you nuts. Chip shot from Paredes. His third field goal of the night. Like right that. back to Grant again. And a nice spin move will go for a first down out to the 50s on their own 51. 
Pressure coming. Kalaros gets it away. Tight wiggle, but held on to. Set it up for 36. Legio. Nope. And he yanks it wide left. Oh, late, late hit on Legio. Oh, Legio's down though, and there's a flag on the field. Illegal interference on the kicker. Calgary number 43. This is a 10-yard penalty that will result in a first down. Don't want to do this. Ninth play of the drive. Polaris. He's going to make him pay almost immediately. Back to Ellison down uh, inside the five, and he hauls it in. Oh, classic TD Vulture. Brown pushing ahead towards the end zone, and he looks like he's in touchdown. Winnipeg finishes off a drive with a look like they're going to have to settle for a missed field goal. It ends up in a touchdown, and they're back on top. The Henry sets up a new first and 10 at the 32. They'll hand it off to Carey. He's got a big push again. Kadeem Carey down inside the 15, going to the 10, taken down inside the 5. And this is deja vu of the last drive where yeah. Carey took him down, and then they were unable to finish it. In support of their defense. Pressure. Mitchell. Got to get there. Pump fake. Second crack out of doors. Henry, and it falls incomplete. A collision. Bagleton and Henry came together with Nick Taylor right there as well. Yeah, and a turnover bust. on down. Yeah. Just over a dozen minutes to play. Friday night football in Winnipeg. Logan. A couple of steps back. Takes it inside his own 50. A 54-yard kick. Logan's going to take it right up the middle. Stays on his feet. There's a flag on the play. Logan's going to take it to the far side. Nobody's going to catch him. Down to the 10-5. Touchdown. Peyton Logan does it again. A flag sits at the 31. During the return, holding Calgary number 40. 10 yard penalty and a first down Calgary. Just inside 50. To make it a one point game right down the middle, he'll wow. split them. And it's 20 to 19 with just over nine and a half left in the fourth quarter. Five and zero versus four and zero on Friday night football in Winnipeg. Polaris with an empty backfield. He's got it again. Pressure coming from Rose. He's on the run and he's got a completion. I believe that's Wolitarski. It is. It's a game turn the road. Pressure here. Polaris gets it away. Oh, Ellingson has got it. Hauls it in again. First down. Back to Ellingson. He's having himself a game. Head <laughs> change. Kolaris again, got to it. the end got zone it. again, up for grabs, and he's got it again. <laughs> Carlton Agadoji holds it in his second of the game. The big fella pays off. Coming in motion, stems him, gets over the top. That's a big man. Yeah, he didn't even high point that. Got it in his chest. Crowd to their feet. Bombers defense looks to seal another one away. Go Levi Mitchell. Drops it off what? to Carey. Carey's got nowhere to go, but there's a flag. Bo Levi was hit late, I believe. Oh, Carey's going to stay on his feet, take it to the far side, pushing ahead. And he's almost got the first down, That's but it looked like incredible. a late hit on the quarterback. Yeah, Jackson Jeff Major Gun. foul. Roughing the passer. Oh. Winnipeg number 94. 15 yard from the end of the run. Automatic first down. Ball moves inside the Winnipeg 30. 56 seconds on the clock. Wow. Mitchell. Has some time this time, looking towards the end zone, he's got it! Oh, bounces up, and it's picked off! What is happening <laughs> to Mario Houston? The football what a finish! Gods. It's Jordan again! The football god said to Mario, I'm gonna give you this one! Come on, Jordan, you're having a night to forget. Familiar setting here for the Bombers. As they win at home again, Kolaris remains perfect at IP Field. And a game that we hyped all week, unbeaten versus unbeaten, my goodness, it lived up to it.